Happy drag streams! I'm Blue Hydrangea from RuPaul's Drag Race UK and I'm here with the gorgeous Scarlett Moffat. And today we are going to be painting our faces like drag queens. Well, for me that's pretty easy. For Scarlett, we are going to put her through the ringer and I can't wait to see what her drag persona turns out like. Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to get started? Yeah, I've got all my bits and bobs in front of us. I must admit, some of the stuff I've got, bacon powder. I normally only use that in the kitchen. <laughs> but that was going to be my first thing to tell oh. you to do, is put on some. It'll help brighten up and it'll catch oh. any fallout. Oh, I've spilt it on my trousers already. Drag is a messy process. So do you have a rainbow palette, a rainbow eyeshadow palette? This bad boy. Oh yeah, perfect. Looks just like mine. Oh, nice. I'll try and take you through it. So I've got this kind of like flat brush. I've gone into my like bright, bright red. Uh, which is like the brightest red in the palette. And because you're doing drag, just go slightly above the crease, but we're basically gonna pack this into the crease. Now that we've got the red down, we'll do the exact same, but with the blue on the other side. So how did you get involved in drag? I watched the show, I watched Drag Race, and obviously I was a fan. I feel like I was like 13 or something, probably shouldn't have watched a show like that. After years of loving drag, my boyfriend applied for a makeup course for me after I dropped out of uni, and it was, that was pretty much game over. I was like obsessed with it as soon as it started. So what we're going to do next is wipe off the bake underneath and that should should hopefully take all the eyeshadow with it. Did it work a little bit? Oh yeah, it does. What is this? Is that what it's for? <laughs> yeah, people use it to brighten their under eyes and to wipe off all that. So you can use that in your day to day. That is magic. And now, do you have any glitter around you? Yes, I've got glitter. Yeah, I've got a wee fixing spray. So I'm just yes. spritzing the, the brush with that and you just whack it on. Is that the professional term, whack it on? Oh wow, yours looks great. Oh, look at this. Oh my, I feel so fancy. Next, I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner and line my lash line. Just a simple line right to the end. That's all you have to do. Next, we're gonna do some drag contouring. Oh, nice. So basically what I was always taught is it's a three. So you do the temples, the cheekbones, and underneath the jaw. So yeah, just buffing, buffing the product onto your skin. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, now the next bit, this might be a little bit scary. Okay. This is the nose contour. I like to do mine in creams before, but I do like to go back in and just use a little bit of powders just to uh, intensify it. <laughs> so just down the side, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you're going in with the concealer. I love That's it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, does this just bring you so much joy when you're doing your drag makeup? Oh, absolutely. You just feel more and more beautiful by the minute. My drag name, it comes from Blue Hydrangeas, the, the, the actual bush, which come from like a rusty nail in the soil. And I just love that story of something coming from like ugly and uh, rusty into something beautiful, which is like my little story. Oh, I'm excited to see what I'm going to call my drag persona. I'm excited. Me too. Have you been thinking of anything? I have been thinking. Um, I like the name Donna Kebab. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. A little, little bit more graceful, we could do Madonna Gabab, like Madonna. Oh, nice. I like that. So next, I've got a lovely lip liner. This one's quite deep and we're going to overdraw liquid lipsticks or, or bullet lipsticks. Either will work. Oh yeah, that looks good. But I'm not there in person. I'll take your word for it. The last thing then is lashes. How long do you keep eyelashes for? Because mine last about 20 bucks. As long as you can. Paint them black every time. And <laughs> I think this is the final makeup look. Are you I, feeling sufficiently glam? Oh, uh, honestly, I'm living my best life. I feel like we should introduce Donna Kebab. Yeah, you'll meet Donna for the first time. Please welcome to the stage the wonderful, the fabulous, my drag daughter, Miss Donna Kebab. I feel like a different human. <laughs> you look like a different human. I do feel like your daughter with this hair. I love it. I've had the absolute best time today doing this to you. Thank you so much for being here. No, thank you. Thank you for being an absolute legend. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. <laughs>